Now, though, to travel. And Debbie has some great ideas for those last few days of the school holidays. So we're back in the Bay of Plenty this week, Yeah, we are. Rotorua. So it's well known and popular with international tourists. Mm. But there are some really great attractions there that are touristy, but are really great for New Zealanders to go and see as well. I'm picking that the, um, the animal stuff at this time of year will be pretty good. Yeah, really great. So what I did recently is I took my young nieces to Agrodome in Rotorua. So really great for Clydesdale buggy rides, tractor trailer rides. But they also have this amazing farm show which we thoroughly enjoyed and was really you know a great thing as a Kiwi to watch so you get introduced to 19 breeds of sheep you see live sheep shearing demonstration you get to feel the wool as well after it's been shorn off there's also lamb feeding and a really cool demo of working sheep dogs and they herd ducks onto the stage which is super cute and we got to see how they use their barks to actually herd oh this is the the little lamb feeding I mean the the reaction in the audience is Ah, oh, when the lambs come on, these are the dogs working and doing their stuff. It's really fantastic to see. And the baby lambs uh, come on stage and you get to even hand milk a cow. Someone from the audience goes up as well. So they show the, the dairy as well as the wool. And we're allowed up on stage afterwards to pat the animals. And even the dogs were happy to be stroked as well. It's cool, isn't it, that it's so hands-on? Really hands-on. And you do get to feed the baby lambs. That was a really cool experience. And they do have baby lambs all day, we all year, I should say. We were there in spring, so just recently. And they will have baby lambs right throughout the year because they leave them to breed right throughout. So what else can you do at Agrodome? Well Agrodome was great we love the new backcountry adventure now this is a new thing that they've started up and it's a one hour four wheel drive tour of Agrodome's 350 acre working farm in Rotorua. What a cool idea. Yeah it's really cool and it's an off road exclusive tour of areas not normally open to the public so you travel through swamps orchards, cattle and sheep pastures and check out a working wool shed as well plenty of mud and some steep hills to get your heart pounding but our driver was actually gauging our adventure tolerance as we went along so it was really great he'd sort of see how fearless we were eight-year-old Scarlett totally fearless so we went mm -hmm. down some pretty steep hills and and this was lovely seeing all the alpacas and you can see the beautiful view there of the incredible panoramic view of Lake Rotorua in the background was absolutely gorgeous here we go this is a good paddock this one going down the steep hills hold on to the bar yeah. well, in the mud mud spatter. So they do give you sort of an overcoat that you can wear to keep you protected from the mud if you like, but we were all for it. We were like, yeah, the more mud, the better. We loved it. Lots of lambs in the paddocks as well. So little Scarlet loving it. So really cool experience. And you're out, you've got no sort of windows or sides on that vehicle either. So you've got the fresh air blowing through and yeah, really cool experience. Loved it. So what sort of age do kids need to be to go on that? Actually, it goes in height. So 130 centimetres is how tall they need to be. Mm -hmm. And kids who are going on that that ride who are 12 years old or under need to be with a parent or an adult with them. Yeah, because otherwise they'd be ridiculous and yeah. they'd perform with that. Can you just imagine that? A castle <laughs> of 12 year olds. Um, now tell me anything else to do in Rotorua with the kids? Yeah, well my nieces were over from the UK so top of their hit list of things to do in New Zealand was they wanted to see our iconic Kiwi bird. So we went to Rainbow Springs and we booked a behind the scenes tour called Kiwi Encounter to see the largest and most successful kiwi hatchery in the world. So you can see the girls there got to actually feel a kiwi egg, how heavy it is. And we saw all the stages that kiwi chicks go through before they're released into the wild. Now this is TK, she's uh, Takaha, she's a female who's in the nocturnal house. So really active kiwi, that's actually the most active I've seen a kiwi so I was super excited to see Takaha and then you go back out of the nocturnal house and you go outside and you feed the massive trout in the pool. Uh, you stroll through the bush into free flight aviaries to see kakariki, kia, kaka, kereru, more pork tui up close. So the birds are gorgeous, the animals are stunning and I mean massive pay, uh, tame exotic parrots uh, they have a, a show every day involving parrots that do tricks uh, so you can catch that at 11 30 every day but just walking through the free flight aviaries was a real treat you get really up nice and close to the animals this is an underwater pool so you can actually see um, stand beside a massive window and see all those beautiful trout swimming past and that's actual size it wasn't a magnifying glass wow. or anything Whoa. yeah I actually asked our host is that a magnifying glass glass and she said no that is can you put a rod size. in there no you cannot yeah, I see dinner swimming all over the place no so great. speaking of dinner so you've had a, a, an amazing day out where should you be eating well I've got a few picks so I've talked before about Capers Epicurean the award-winning cafe that's great for breakfast lunch dinner any time of the day go to Capers 
papers. Uh, there's also Eat Street, which is the gorgeous covered pedestrian pathway. Anywhere along Eat Street is really great, and it's quite close to the lakefront as well. Uh, if you want a packed lunch to go and do a walking, bushwalk, anything like that, or a biking trail in Rotorua, go to Chiabatta Bakery. They do amazing cronuts. So go oh, and check them out. Oh, <laughs> good energy food there. <laughs> yes. Hey, some great school holiday tips. Thank you so much, Debbie. No worries.